Hi friends, for today's project I'm starting with the stall house cabinet that I previously painted. For the supplies I'm using water-based Mod Podge and assorted brushes. I'm also using papers and scissors that have a fancy edge, gold leaf and glitter, and assorted gemstones. I'm using moss and my handmade magical creations. I'm using craft paper and tissue paper to begin this project. I'm cutting the paper to size and applying it using water-based Mod Podge and a brush. Once the glue is applied and I have the paper where I would like it, I'm going to use my fingers to smooth the paper and ensure that everything is in place. I will repeat this process using paper of my choice. Again, I'm cutting the paper, checking the placement on the piece itself, trimming to make sure the size is accurate, and then gluing firmly into place. And that's going to continue on for some time. I feel like maybe I should cue some elevator music here. This is how my piece turned out and I'm quite happy with it. The next step is working with gold flakes or gold leaf and glitter and I love this part. I always find this super super fun. I'm applying a layer of water-based Mod Podge directly to the piece and I'm just going to alternate by gluing the gold flakes and the glitter into place. I'm using a brush to pick up the gold flakes and press them onto the piece and for the glitter I'm just shaking it out of the glitter jar. Um, I've put a little dish underneath my work to catch any excess glitter and this is how the front of the piece looks. I think it's nice and sparkly already but I have way more work to do. And just so this video doesn't drag on forever, I'm just going to really quickly speed through this part. Again, just applying glitter and gold leaf over and over and over again. Ta-da! Now that the base of the front and the sides is complete, I can compete. I can compete. Ah, I'm repeating the process for the inside. I love how the sunshine is catching the sparkle already. Next, I'm using my glue gun to apply moss. I love a clean workspace, so you'll see me using my little bowl for all the messy bits as I go along while I work. I'm applying the hot glue directly into the cabinet and then using tweezers and my fingers to apply the moss. And this is what it is starting to look like. And I'm just going to keep going. Again, where's my elevator music? Do, 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 do. Ah, there. Ta-da! A little more progress. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Progress. Now I've hand selected precious stones and beads and I'm going to apply these using Gorilla Glue. <laughs> I am applying the Gorilla Glue directly to the piece and from time to time I will apply the Gorilla Glue to the back of the beads or stones as well for extra reinforcement or maybe there's not a smooth surface to work on so I apply the glue in both spots. Now it's really starting to take shape. If you get the Gorilla Glue on your hands, don't worry, I have a trick for that. It's impossible to wash off, so I just let it dry, and then I use a pumice stone, and I just gently rub it off. Ta-da! Next, I will fill the cabinet with accessories. I will alternate between the Gorilla Glue and my glue gun. And again, I will apply the Gorilla Glue either directly to the piece or directly to the cabinet, just depending on if the surface is smooth or, um, well, whatever. Well, I just switch, okay? Sometimes I do, I just do things differently, okay? And I'm going to work over this cabinet entirely, so not just in the shelves at the front, but also the top. I love details, so the more filling, the better. For me, anyways. And now I will fill all these tiny gaps. 
This is also a great opportunity to use the moss to hide any glue globs. And I'll be working over the entire piece again, so front, sides, and top. I'm really, really liking this. I think it's really cute. Next, I'm working with the Mod Podge again, and I'm using a small brush to um, apply the Mod Podge and coat it with glitter. So again, this fills some little spaces and adds some touches of magic. And if there's any mistakes, you can hide these mistakes with the glitter. Time to add a touch of magic. I handcrafted this tiny guitar some time ago, but I wanted to add some more glitter just to make it a little bit more matchy-matchy for this piece. I'm using my hot glue gun to fasten the guitar inside the cabinet. Next, I'm working with Gorilla Glue Minis. This is perfect for tiny pieces because of the teeny tiny tip. My handmade fairy crown is quite delicate and the Gorilla Glue Minis are perfect for applying just enough glue to securely fasten them in place and without making any sort of mess or leaking. I'm applying a little extra glue just to make sure it's going to hold in place. Next I have a large safety pin and some tool ribbon. I'm threading the tool ribbon onto the safety pin and I'm using the Gorilla Glue to fasten it to the front of the wardrobe. So it looks like a little fairy dress is hanging there. Yay! I captured over an hour's worth of work in under 10 minutes. Thanks for watching! See you next time! Bye!